All right, welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most, and check this out. Rihanna. Rihanna, work, 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 work. Riri, the Barbarian princess, Riri, she's about to drop a reggae album, or so it's been said for a long time now. Rihanna has not put out any music in a long while now, but my gist of my story here is that she's about to put out some music with DeMarco. DeMarco for us is Mr. Bonop Road. All right, we're talking about the stellar artist. I call him the triple quadruple threat, DeMarco, and I'm going to explain why I call him all that and everything in a minute. Take a listen to this rhythm because they haven't released the song yet, but media is abuzz about this song. The song is called Private Loving, and everybody can't wait to hear the song. Well, her fan base that spans a couple hundred million people, globally at least, can't wait to hear the song. So listen to this rhythm and tell me if you can anticipate hearing Rihanna on this rhythm and can you imagine DeMarco being on this rhythm with her? Check out the rhythm, write us up. All right, so that's just a little snippet of the rhythm. It's not my rhythm, so I can't play too much of the rhythm on here, but that's what has been released so far. And I'm telling you, I think the rhythm is bad. It has a and 90s dance hall feel to it. And I think that that is where, if you ask many people that listen to dancehall, they will tell you that that's the best era in dancehall music was the 90s dancehall, right? So anyways, I went over to Urban Islands and it says that Rihanna quietly registers new dancehall track Private Loving with DeMarco. Mr. Bonapro himself, DeMarco. Uh, here we go. The moment we've all been waiting for. Rihanna finally have new music on the way. The and they're breaking out after the media is breaking out after Rihanna and a fan account revealed that the singer registered a new song called Private Loving with Jamaican dancehall artist DeMarco as a feature. The record was registered with her music publisher BMI. Now I don't know if you know it, but if you're making music, your music gotta be registered with either ASCAP or BMI. Those are the two giants I know. Maybe there are more, but ASCAP and BMI are the two giants and she's registered with BMI and gives writing credit to Riri, DeMarco and British songwriter Monique Laws. Now, again, this is how you know the man is official with his thing. DeMarco may I talk about in a triple threat DeMarco I'm talking about because his he gets his credit on this in writing. And remember a while gone back where Agent Sasko, um, a.k.a. Assassin, DJ Assassin, did some work on a Kendrick Lamar project. And of course, Kendrick Lamar went on to sell millions and millions of copies and has become a mega superstar and a staple within the industry now. And a lot of people were like, why... We were so excited for dance or reggae music and for a heavy hitter powerhouse like Assassin, like Agent Sasko to be on a project with Kendrick Lamar. You know, Kendrick Lamar took trip to Jamaica and all this stuff. And you know, we like to get all extra excited when time the foreign of them fly down come Jamaica, especially if they have this big name with them. So he was there and all this and all these things. And lo and behold, when the project came out, I think every dancehall Jamaican went and copped a piece of it, even though we're not buying music from our regular dancehall artists, but that's a whole nother story. But we went and copped the thing, and we were searching to see, okay, let me see if Sasko get him credit, Panyaso, and... Nope, no credit. A lot of people were even saying he didn't get credit on it because it was not him. He came out and verified that he did get, he did not get credit, but it was him that did the work. But there were other kind of business dealings. No, we don't know. People were speculating, say, yo, he probably get, remember Mr. Vegas took it up on his head and Mr. Vegas was saying, yo, I saw them make them use and out and use out the culture and if I make sure they're going to get on a credit because, listen, a couple of years from now when time when the all up and coal up and grey up and the flame and the fire not there anymore burning for you and the spotlight is on someone else, your children and grandchildren can actually still be collecting or that can be a part of your pension plan, right? Which makes perfect sense. Well, anyways... Back to this now. So DeMarco is credited on this project. The logistics align with the swirling rumors that Rihanna is supposedly dropping a reggae project sometime this year. So 
everybody's been tight-lipped about this reggae project that Rihanna is supposed to be dropping, including her whole entourage of managers, handlers, um, record producers. They say it's kind of top secret when you record with Rihanna and you know, the location is top secret, the tracks are top secret. Matter of fact, I heard, I read an article where a top producer from Jamaica said they sent in about a hundred rhythm, a hundred instrumentals, and they got back about 99 of them. And the one that they actually kept, when they heard it again, they had changed it so much on Rihanna's side of the board that they themselves who sent it in could not even recognize it. But at the end of the day, it's about you getting credit for your work. But <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They do their thing a bit different. All right. So the Barbados Diva is coming as yet to be released. Her, I would say now when exactly any of these tunes from the Barbados Diva is coming is yet to have been released. People are still waiting for this dancehall album. I can tell you this. A lot of people in dancehall music that do good dancehall music are going to be disappointed because they're going to say, well, she's not even Jamaican. And she put out a dancehall album, you know, and the dancehall album sells 20 million copies. Yo, my back so tell. Because, you know, so one of our top dancehall artists put out a popcorn, put out a vibes cartel. Hell, put out a alkaline, put out a Movado, put out a... Spice, put out uh, any one of the dancehall artists that you put out there that are top tier artists. Put out a uh, Dexter Dops. Put out them artists there and they can't sell 5,000 copies. So, when you see a re re go pick this up now and take a dancehall, I would say it's a good thing for the culture. Other people would say we're getting used, like Chronic saying the song. While we there fight each other, re re there they are work, 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 dancehall. Right? And a Drake a control dance hall. Remember Drake did controller and then he had two controllers. He had one with popcorn and one with popcorn had a verse on one and he had one that was just with no popcorn wasn't on it. And on the album, popcorn wasn't version was not on the album. But I had to verify and let people know a way in a one part of Texas, USA I was and driving through other parts of Texas, USA, Louisiana, Alabama, them state there. And guess what I heard on the radio the whole time? It was the popcorn version with Drake on it, which is the version of Controller that many people came to like anyways. But, you know, man, I said, we just want our artists them to get their fair share. Now, DeMarco, before I go on, DeMarco is one that we, see, we did reviews already on these people that are so big now. And DeMarco was big already when we was doing his review, but the, the man has gotten like extra bigger. And we have said that his talent is out, is too big for Jamaica. Some people have said, oh yeah, I talk about talent too big for Jamaica. No, 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 can't too big for Jamaica. Hey, slow your horses. Don't be so quick to be defensive and offended. Okay, check it. Too big for Jamaica meaning talent like that needs to go see the world. The world needs to hear and feel talent like that. The man is, when I can't say a triple quadruple threat, I mean... Him can break down and put back together the recording studio. He can formulate a beat, a rhythm from nothing, from air, from inside of his head and play it out in the studio until it becomes a complete rhythm. So he can build a rhythm from scratch. Not too many people can do that. You can sing a song and him can build rhythm around the song that you're singing. That's a master engineer and um, composer. He can also write, which he does, write and perform. Come on now. And then at one point he had, I don't know if the studio, film studio is still up and running, but I'm pretty sure that it's still about, and I'm waiting to see great works come back from it. The Marco left Jamaica a while now, a couple of years now to go overseas to do bigger and greater things, right? And he was linked up with Akon. I'm locked up, it won't let me out. That Akon there, you know, so me, I don't know, singer for that, but... If, I mean, trust me, if I go in that studio with DeMarco, I come out with a hit. I tell you because he's that great. So, we're anticipating this um, album release from Rihanna. And it has been proven that she just registered a song with dancehall artist DeMarco. And right now, I am looking at the new song, Private Lovin, has been registered on BMI, the paper proof that you yourself can go look up. BMI work number for this, if you don't believe me, is 313 
total controlled by BMI and it says 25.00%, 25, 50, 75, 100. So there's four people on this um, project and I guess each person will be getting 25% of whatever the project does. Okay, so if the project make $100, $25 for each person. Edward Collins Damar, or Edward Collins Damar, who is registered through ASCAP, is on that project, and I'm guessing that's Damar Co. Fenty Robin R, I'm guessing that's Rihanna, and she's registered through BMI. Remember, me tell you, ASCAP or BMI is the two giants, and she's registered there. And you can go see the IPI numbers and everything. Lawrence Monique Chantel is on there as well, as long as well as a long African name that I can't pronounce. And it is Ogun Mokun, Alexander Adedoma, Adedomola, Ayom Bami is another person on there. So pardon me, Ayobami, if I butchered your name. So we all need now. It's the confirmation from herself, Rihanna. That's the only thing we need now for her to come out and actually say, yes, look out for this track. My new track is coming and the name of the new track is Private Loving and it features Dancehall Superstar DeMarco on it, uh, so on, so on, so forth. All may I say is, if Riri drop a track of Private Loving on a rhythm hot like that, please make sure when you do the video, Riri, I mean, or Riri might not be listening to this. Then again, it's a down-to-earth girl, so she probably is listening to it. A Caribbean sister, so she probably is listening to it. She never get too bougie and forget where she come from. So she's probably hearing this. And if she doesn't, then I'm sure her handlers or people around her are hearing it. I can make her hear. So if y'all ever do private loving and do a video for it or release that track, Please make sure when you do the uppy uppy video for it, make sure that you put the marker in the video as well and make sure to fly my big big Jamaican flag in there somewhere because it will only make my people them just over excited and joyful and just run come support the thing and all them thing they don't know what we do already we get Jamaicans are real patriotic people don't it? All right, so big up on yourself, people, and just to put that out there, so big up to Bon Up Road, I'm going Bon Up Road because that you do. All right, sir? All right, it's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace. Check, 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 check. My check, one, two, one, two, one, two.